In this lesson, we will be using Twitter's Web Data API to access tweets and do some analysis on it using Python. This is our last lesson before your final project. So it's a little bit more advanced than our other notebooks, but nothing you can't understand at this point. So please don't be discouraged. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand what is the Twitter API, create a Twitter application, download authentication credentials, and save them to disk for later usage. Twitter offers a web application programming interface, or shortly API, to access all tweets on their website. Through this API, we can send queries to Twitter to search for data related to various topics, find out about trends, user interactions, and many other analysis tasks built on Twitter data. This will require authentication on Twitter. So please create a Twitter account if you don't have one. And this account won't be sufficient. We will also need to create an app that identifies all the requests we send to the platform. To do this, we will need a sample application. After watching this video, go to the URL here and create a sample application. You will need your Twitter account to be able to, to do this, so please create one if you haven't done so yet. Once you create a new application, it will give you links to follow. For example, when you're in the application settings, please click Manage Keys and Access Tokens next to the, your consumer key. You had to follow the links at, until this point, probably, uh, there, you, you need to follow one more link to create your consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and access token secret. Once you complete this step, please locate the Twitter notebook in week 8 to get started with the next video and our notebook. As we just reviewed, in this notebook, we will be using Twitter's Web Data API to access tweets and do some analysis on it using Python. Let's get started. Um, we first need to access tokens for Twitter standard authentication me mechanism and in order to use it uh, to make requests to the Twitter's API. You probably already have done this after the last video, but if you haven't, please stop the video and go to the URL here and create a sample application. Uh, and you will need a Twitter account again. Uh, to remind you, so please create one if you don't have an ordinary Twitter account. Once you create a new application, it will give you links to follow uh, in the application settings. Please click Manage Keys and Access Tokens, and that's next to the consumer key, probably. You need to follow the links to create your consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and uh, access token secret. Now you have them, please copy and paste those into the code block below. Um, it, you need to only do it for the first time you run this notebook. Uh, here what we are doing is we are creating a pickle file called secret uh, Twitter creden credentials.pkl um, to store your credentials. That's why you only need to do this once and this file, Secret Twitter Credentials, will enable you to authenticate with the Twitter API to access the data uh, we need for this notebook. Once you do it, uh, please remove your uh, credentials from the notebook um, and don't share that file with anybody. Um, here, let's review what's going on uh, in this code block. As you see in this code block, in this if statement, we create an object called Twitter, and we use it to store our access credentials. So consumer key, consumer secret, they're all stored in the Twitter object. If the pickled credentials exist, um, it will just load the credentials from the pickle file into the Twitter object. How do we use pickle? Uh, we import the package and also the OS package. 
uh, to check your files. Um, what does Pickle do, right? Um, it's a cute name for a Python utility module to save any Python object or data structure on disk. Pickle uh, will do something special called serialization to convert uh, any Python object, or in this case, this Twitter object, uh, into a character stream. So the object can be created later uh, in Python when we need it. Reconstruction of that object is called deserialization. So Pickle will do this for your Twitter access credentials. And when we come back, it loads it back into Twitter as an object. As a big warning, please don't share that Pickle file, as anyone can use it to deserialize it and access uh, your Twitter account. <laughs>